guys, today we're out here on my uh, makeshift range. We put a couple clays up. We've got a little bouncer on the ground, uh, a small steel, and a, a real tiny little spinner steel. Um, but today we are testing the new G-Force 12 gauge AR shotgun style. It is the GF 12 AR. And uh, I've actually shot this a handful of times at snow geese. Um, when we were out snow goose hunting because I can get five rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber. And today what we are going to do is we're going to test types of rounds from regular bird shot to uh, steel shot for waterfowl to double lot buck shot. So we're going to run a bunch of different rounds through this thing and see what happens downrange and at the gun platform. I know that there's going to be a few things that happen to it, but we just want to give you guys a little bit more clarity on what this gun can do. And so when you're out there making a buying decision on ammo, well, what little ammo there is, you can know what you need to get for this gun. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and load up one of these magazines. Okay, this, this group of rounds are two-shot waterfowl steel loads, um, and these waterfowl steel loads are herders. They're from a Cabela's um, store um, that's near me, and they, I think, are rated at like 1450 or 1500 feet per second. Um, they're two-shot steel waterfowl loads, so I don't think that we should have a problem with these, so let's give it a try. Just like that butter. Every five, I mean, that, those five shots all went off perfectly. Let's go with some, um, some six shot. Um, it's more of a steel waterfowl load, but it's basically all that I could find. Sportsman's high speed steel. The velocity on this is 1,365 feet per second, one ounce shot, six shot for the 12 gauges. Two and three quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in here and uh, load it up and see what it does. All right, so that one did not, as you can see right here, it didn't even, didn't even pop that round all the way out. So, all right, well, let's try another uh, type of ammo, I guess. All right, so this next ammo that we're gonna try is some Winchester heavy game loads. 12 gauge, two and three quarter. 1255 is the velocity on this. It is some more, it's not high brass, it's kind of some low steel as well. So four shot, um, one and an eighth ounce. So we'll see what these do. Two rounds cycled at that that one. One round there. Oh, we got a jam. All right, so there you have it with that Winchester 1255. We got two rounds to go through one time, um, but basically everything else after that was one shot and it didn't cycle. So uh, let's move on to the next set of things and uh, we'll see what they do. Let's try some more stuff. All right, so what I've got now um, are some turkey loads. This is the Winchester Super X 12 gauge, two and three quarter. It's actually 1,230 um, feet per second velocity, and it's five shot. And I'm going to try to take this gun out um, turkey hunting um, this spring. So 
I want to know what it's going to do. And obviously you can only have three rounds in, but I'm going to load three rounds up, put one in the chamber and we'll see what happens with this. I'm very interested with these because these are high brass, but two and three quarter shells. All right, we're loaded. Now this is going to kick a bit. Those three rounds there just went off perfectly through the G-Force 12AR. I'm gonna test a few more things. I've got um, some other uh, high punch type loads and we'll see if those get through this gun as well. Next are these, uh, these Herders, high brass, two and three quarter, four shot. Velocity on it says it's 1220. So we'll go ahead and try this out and see what happens. I don't know if these are going to cycle just because it's lower on the velocity side, but because it's high brass, it may, and it, because it's got a big punch, we'll see. Let's load some up. All right, let's see what happens with these uh, pheasant loads. They are number, they're fours, 1,220 feet per second, but it's high brass, two and three quarter inch shells. I could have pulled the trigger even faster. Let, let's do it one more time and let's pull the trigger even faster and see how fast we can get these to go off. First off though, I am gonna go out and I'm gonna put up some more um, clay targets, move that bouncer back and see if I can't fix that uh, steel plate back there, so. Yeah, that just uh... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mow down all of the clays in succession, stop on that middle one with that bouncer down on the ground, and uh, continue on through and see what happens here. All right. Ready? All right guys, so what I have here in this magazine is a home defense round from Herders. Um, I picked it up, up at my local Cabela's. It actually has nine pellets in it. So what I kind of sometimes like to use this for um, on top of just self-defense is coyote hunting. And so that's kind of what I'm thinking about here with it. I've got this one loaded up. So let's see if this will uh, send multiple rounds downrange and see what we can do with it. It's high brass, two and three quarter. Again, there's nine lead pellets in there. Claims that this um, feet per second is 1200 feet per second. So let's see what happens. So we got one. We got three rounds that went through and it just didn't pick up that next one. So it cycled, but it didn't grab onto it. So I don't know if that was a magazine issue or not. So I think I've got two more rounds. Let's see what this does here. I think that's it. That's all of them. So we had a little bit of a mishap there, but that one went through just fine. All right, guys. So we have put a ton of different rounds through this G-Force. Um, 12 gauge AR and I will say I, I'm pretty impressed with it um, on certain rounds on other rounds I, I wish that it would um, cycle the way that it should um, but with that in mind be sure that you get this gun out on the range shoot it with rounds that you're going to be using just you don't want to be in a moment where you need this gun to go off and it not go off 
and and basically that's practice and that's a lot based on um, just being ready for the moment from a home defense standpoint from a hunting standpoint from any standpoint of when you need this gun to go off so with that being said i think it is a great gun it is fun 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 to shoot